so on the base of the sweet will of our Gurudev, we are still reading quotes from Chaitanya Charitamrita. In Vilap Kusumandali, and we came forward to verse number 51. So today, let's have a look what is inside that verse of quotes from Chaitanya Charitamrita. First, I will read the verse. First, always comes the theme, and then comes the quote. O oh, Devi, when can I, while you are eating, lovingly and attentively, light a lot of nicely fragrant incense, fan you, or render other services appropriate? for that moment. Notes The ocean of Sri Raghunadas Goswami's Brahma is steered and as a result he relishes the flavors of wonderful services and he anxiously laments the course of love is very amazing so now comes the quote from Chaitanya Charitamrita Anjalila 18 Bhakta Premera Yoto Dasha Yekati Prakara Yoto Shukka Yoto Dukkha Yote Kovikara Krishna Taha Samyakna Pare Janite Bhakta Bhava Angikare Taha Ashvadite Krishna Najaya Prema Bhakti Ranajaya Apane Najaye Tine Naje Ekate All the loving faces of the devotee, his happiness, his distress, all the different transformations, even Krishna cannot know them completely. That is why he accepted the mood of a devotee to relish them. Brahma makes Krishna dance, makes the devotees dance, and dances itself. All three are dancing at one place. So that's a wonderful quotation from Chaitanya Charitamrita. And so Nididi is also here. And I see she's very inspired. <laughs> I'm inspired to listen to you. Sorry? I In said I'm inspired to listen to you. <laughs> I can understand that you are inspired to listen to these quotes. They are very wonderful, these quotes. So here we can see that actually some service is rendered in a wonderful way. I will read again. O oh Devi, when can I, while you are eating? So that means already some service is done, some offering some preparations with, of course, some left over from Krishna. 
So while you are eating, I will lovingly and attentively light a lot of nicely fragrant incense. Fan you or render other services appropriate for that moment. So this service is so astonishing that even Krishna is amazed and he cannot know all these services completely. That's why he accepted the mood of a devotee to relish them. And then the last sentence, Brahma makes Krishna dance. Only Brahma makes him dance. Only Brahma can move him. And it also makes the devotees dance. And Brahma itself also dances. Who is that Brahma who is dancing? So all three, they are dancing together happily. When Swamini takes her meal, very carefully offers her the most exquisite incenses and fans her according to the time of the year. In the summer, this is more required than in the winter. In his visions, Raghunath personally experiences this. And when the visions vanish, he anxiously prays. Without devotional service, the pure devotee finds it hard to stay alive. So further on in the text, there's another quote of Chaitanya Charit Amrita. In which verse are you, Gauravani? Sorry. 51. So Sriman Mahaprabhu said, Krishna Praptira Upaya Ara Nahi Bhajan Vine. There is no other way to attain Krishna than Bhajan. Bhajan is the means and Bhajan is the goal. Mahaprabhu himself was always absorbed in the devotional item of hearing. Chanti dasa vidyapati rayera nataka kiti Krishna amrita shri gita govinda swarup ramananda sane mahaprabhu ratri dine gaya shune parama ananda Chaitanya charit amrita Jai Gurudev, my dandavats and loving hugs. Day and night, Mahaprabhu was listening to songs of Chandidas and Ramananda Roy's play and verses from Krishna, Karnamrta and Gita Govinda, together with Swarup Damodar and 
Ramananda Roy. So we had this last time already that actually what Ramananda Roy and Chandidas are doing here this is also direct seva in that mood although it was not written like this openly but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was completely immersed and of course immersed all others with him in the same mood Swarup Damoda and Ramananda Roy were drowned actually in this special gift by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, although their stai bath before was another and will be another. But the sanctuary baths given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to them are actually our goal, our stai bath. So amazing scenes are going on here. And we can see that Anandadas Babaji is always again and again taking the quotes of Chaitanya Charit Amrita here to underline that. An expert in drowning us in that mood. So another point I find very interesting is that actually bhajan, it was said, is the means and the goal. I remember that in the past I had another picture of bhajan and I thought how it can be the goal and the means in one time. I didn't understood actually. But now <laughs> it is very clear that this rasa is here. It's always here. It's not a past time. It's always with us. And actually our bhajan is to be in that seva, to be in this uh, mood to be together with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this mood and with all the devotees and doing our seva. This is a mental religion. So mentally we can be always there or like myself, always somewhere. So this was the last quote in part one. I have this old Manjali, there are two parts, so I will change in the second part now. So Ravani, maybe we can stay in this point a little bit because it's so important. The bhajan and how to to go into bhajan. And then also I found the sentence after that. <laughs> Rasa can be relished when we have accepted the mood of the great saints. It was when after the quote in that paragraph. Well, one thing I want to add in this. Bhajan, Mahaprabhu is listening. Chandidas and Vidyapati. From group Sarup Damodar and Raya Ramana. So first we have to see Sarup Damodar and Raya Ramananda is Larita and Vishakha. Is they are Larita and Vishakha. 
and Radha Rani is Mahaprabhu. If we will not see Lalita Vishakha, then Radha Rani will not appear in Chaitanya. It will be Krishna. So Lalita Vishakha is singing and Mahaprabhu is always listening. So first is Shravan and second is a Kirtan. Without listening, it's not working inside. So listening is important. And living in the same moment is a chanting in the you come is that moment when you are chanting. If you go in past, you cannot chant. So you, have, you start living in now. Then pastime reveal. And my constitutional position, my sarup start, we start trying to live in that. You read the Chaitanya Chaitamrit. When you're reading, then I feel it now. Yeah. That's just the mercy of you and all the other devotees and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's not my part. But isn't it interesting that Ramananda Roy and Swarup Damara, their stai bath is something else, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is drowning them. A stai bath is Raita and Vishakha. Yes, this is what I mean. When I live in my Sarup, this is my stai bath. There is never a start before that Manjari bath. This is the new subject. Unnat Ujjwal Rasa, it was being begun by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is the first he gave this. Before was never happened. Like and he inspired for that, not to the Sarup Damoda and Rai Ramananda. He inspired to this Rupa Gosam. So from Rupa Raghunath, it practice to start there. So his Thai bhav was Lalita and Rai Ramananda's Thai bhav was Vishakha. <laughs> and Mahaprabhu's Thai bhav was uh, Radhika. He is not changing his Thai bhav. He sometimes become Krishna, sometimes Radha. No. His bhav was Radha, bhav receiving through the Dasi mood, in the mood of Radha Dasi. He start first to start practicing to realize this. Manjiriva. Then he is part to Rupa Goswami. This is the process <laughs> you do. See? In Chaitanya Chaitanya, it is very clear. Because if the Bhagra is Hindi, I, what I feel, I explain. Thank you, Gurudev. Sunidhi, you wanted are, to share something on that? They are Nitya Siddhas. They cannot change their Bhav, Asthai Bhav. They have Asthai Bhav. Because they are Nitya Siddha, not Sadhan Siddha. Uh, Sarup Damodar and Rai Ravan. And Radhika, Radhika, she is all Mahabhav Sarupini. Thank you, Gurudev. You make it very clear, this mood of Chaitanya, 
And I was very much uh, impressed that Rupa Goswami gave this, you said Rupa Goswami inspired this Manjari bath also uh, in uh, Mahaprabhu because he write this on the palm leaf. Ne? This is the moonlit nights and um, and then Mahaprabhu could understand that he has the same feelings of Radhika. She, he is in, in uh, one mood with Radhika. And it's amazing that even though they were so much uh, separated by distance, but their connection was really a transcendental connection and they did all their services, what they needed to do. And what I wanted to add is, uh, to Gauravani, this point about Bhajan, Gurudev explained nicely, the hearing is the, the key. So by hearing, our our meditation, our our contemplation is nourished, and that is also what Baba says. Uh, we have ex we have to accept the mood of the great saints, like even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Adarani. She she accepted this what came from Rupa Goswami from her manjari. So that is also amazing that this exchange is going on. And what to speak about me? What, what is my chanting doing? It's empty if I don't have a constant flow of rasa in my, you know, feelings that I am receiving from Gurudev, from all the Vaishnavas. That is my life. One, one thing I want to add here, like you are chanting, what you will chant? What is in your mind? And yes. what is in our mind, what I listen. Exactly. If I listen only Gramakatha, this I hold it in mind. I <laughs> listen only material thing. I hold it in my mind this. Then I will chant. The chanting will not taste full because my mind is full with the material things. So what to do? I have to change our, our listening way. We have to stop what is disturbing to me and listen something what helps me. If I I do every day something what what bring me out and I give more energy for that, I will be out. It's a mental religion. Huh? But where my mind will go, I will go there. How I can chant when I have so much garbage stored in my head? So to remove that garbage, we start listening to throw it out, old garbage. Just listening is helping. So, That's a wonderful point, yes. And one thing you see, Gram Katha no Kohibit, Gram Katha na Goilve. Why this is Gram Katha? Because when you I talk and I listen, it increases more. That people like who like to be material talk much, they will increase that subject. And I will interested to listen to that. So that way, more and more storage will become material storage. How my desire will be for my journey. So Savan and Kirtan, Bhajan goes together. And this grid is important. First, this is the grid for me. But I'm living in material world and I need to put mind to do something. Yes, we do, but not living. One, I go to visit my toilet and come back and one want to stay in the toilet whole day. There is two 
two things, no? If I want to stay up all the time there, is a different thing. I is keeping the mind to think on and on that. And one is subject, I go when the necessary and come back. So that is no problem. Right? Yes, very right. Yes. I was just thinking these days we had, uh, I don't remember the verse, but uh, it was about the chanting. And Suniti was giving another taste of the chanting from the view of Radharani and elaborate on that. And in this moment, I was thinking that actually the chanting is also a rasa. And like you just said, Gurudev, when we are in that, in that lilas, in that lila rasa, and chant then, then the mind can actually take some some stuff to make a connection and to feel it but if we don't have this we cannot make this connection so we will not actually feel rasa in chanting one thing Garvani, the sweeping is sweeping is only by listening we sweep our mind, clean our mind. Sweeping is throwing out the garbage because there will be no space to this. And when the cheto darpanam marjana, my chitta will become pure. Chanting will automatically be radishing. It's nothing to pressure for chanting. This is my realization. I was trying to chant and keep my mind in the Gram Katha. Very different. <laughs> Externally, I can say, but it's not happening. Now I start stop listening Gram Katha and trying to listen from morning. You know, morning three. Punyam is reading the book. <laughs> six hours ago. Then six, I'm listening the class of Uddhava and Radha Charan. He's listening. I don't talk. Talking about talk. I want to listen to him. The on and on, I want to listen. If something inspiration of any realization, I want to share with. So when the clean cheto darpanam, when is a chitta is clean, when chitta means heart and mind, is clean by this. And we have to stop also negative listening. That practice we have to stop. Useless Gram Gatha, sitting and talking for nothing. What is the no reason for this? Is <laughs> disturbed very much. If I listen in the evening time, whole night my time is done. If I listen in morning time, morning time is done. Because that rolls in the mind. Afternoon, not less effect, but morning, evening is a heavy effect. So why not in the morning time listen what is useful and evening also use mind 
to listen what is useful and not useful thing what to do is false thing to what to do why to think and listen this one habit can change many things Oh, sorry, I disturbed. Gurudev, you can never it's disturb. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> I was just was, thinking, how practically, PM. how we can do it practically? Because now you you have time, you can take yourself time. Um, but maybe. No, no, Time on it. You'd believe me. This material thing was not giving time to me, but I escaped to clear the time. I I become Krishna Bhakta Hoy Bolo Chatu. I use my mane. What you say? Intelligence here. How to how to escape from the Wasting my use, use less time. They disturb me, my dear. This is my karma. But I escape. So how to escape when we have to work, for example? No, work then work. But after work, we have to escape. Working, I never stop. I also inspired to work. If done not, then we will more disturb. So much work that you can sleep without no time. I work in 80 years. When I go to the bed, I sleep like a baby. Then I go to sleep. 3 a.m. I wake up. 2 a.m. 3 a.m. One two hour afternoon. So I so much daytime working, chanting, doing that, and also any service come immediately. I decision. Seva. No. But I not think, keeping thinking that, sitting in toilet not. So no sit in toilet, work and come out. But it has to be practiced, then it will come out. If not, then we don't want to leave this. That is, it's more than we will put some more some actors friend to sit more time. I think these are very good points, Gurudev, that you give like a practical, like your day, and now I have to apply it on my day. How can yeah. I put, you know, all the spiritual inputs that I need to keep my mind absorbed in what timing and, you know, how how to make now, my day correctly? One day, one day, one suggestion, listening, not much, many things to Then you will cook, you will clean, you will do everything. is is a service of Radharani. Anything you do, listening can change this. Nothing can change. By listening, everything will change.
Listening is so powerful. Chanting also. Yeah. But but like you said, if I don't listen, if, if I don't li listen, if I don't have no input in my consciousness, then what will I chant? I will chant on the things that uh, you know. What is in the storage? Yeah, it's in the storage it's of the storage mind. Storage in mind. Chitta. I will chant means I will think that. Chanting means thinking that. I was living in that. I was more thinking that. What is my mind and chitta? Nothing else. And then I will be very difficult. I don't know how to go on. This is my experience, I said. Which, sorry. Yeah. So valuable. Thank you, Gurudev. It's a very valuable sharing. How you also organize your day because when we are with you, we know you're always busy, but you have this deep, deep, deep listening in your times, in your night, in your evening. And that gives the power to always be with the mantra and inside in your Swaru. I protect myself that nobody disturb me with your rest of. Mm -hmm. You see, when I am listening out, other will come to say me anything. And if some Indians come, I say one minute. So only listen one minute. Other minute I give for Hari Kasan. So I bring it to the toilet and come back immediately for me. One minute. Give me one. <laughs> you have to do this material world. You have to do some. Sometimes you have to listen, but not only listening. That I want to say. Don't sit in the toilet. Don't live in the toilet, Gurudev. Don't live in the toilet. That is not my subject. I'm not interested in that. That has to decide from inner, inner heart. Then it will change. Will change. Escape from the conflict. What creates the conflict, we have to escape from. How to escape? I say only one beautiful word in English. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. And escape from. Don't go in argument. If you want to go, if you want to go in the subject to talk, go argue. And when you don't want to be there, you say, yes, yes, yes. Then your decision, you do or not do. Escaping is the easiest way. Yes. Sorry. In English, very good words are there. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Guru is master. <laughs> Dora Sunna says you are the master in this Guru Dev and we, we can watch you. He come in 15 days, he teach me and go again. And watching from Germany, how I am moving. But I remember you, yes, yes, I, I desire also to learn. <laughs> now I try to do a Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <What>? yes. <laughs> Thank you.
And also we can say yes, yes, in this case, to our Swamini. If we do this, when then we are... Well, then, then we will say, what I will listen, that I have to say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is the point. <laughs> That is Chetu Darpana Mahasaya. So beautiful. Mahaprabhu teaching is, he teaches by his doing. Hmm. And this is Audhariya. Radha Rani and Krishna cannot do that in, in that time. But Mahaprabhu show what really Krishna was doing and what Krishna want to do and he practice in Sata. What is the word? Sata Brata. Huh? Some different word is there. Today somebody like said... Like a bow? Uh, bow in Hindi. Some cow. Sata. Two Vata. <laughs> two Vata. He makes a vow. Two Vata. Huh? Two means two promise. Vrata. He never promise. moved from it. And we are moving from our promises. We mm -hmm. think but change our promises. But this Krishna, who took the promise to realize the mood of Radhika, he never moved from that. Mm -hmm. That. So Mahaprabhu Ahlila, pastor, is teaching how to do in our life. Wow. Qualifying yeah, the souls of this fun. age. Uh, how is it possible? Yeah, go, go, my dad. Uh, Go on, so be true. <laughs> Absorption in Swamini's maid service is even deeper. You're I am a maid servant. Gurudev? This was never happened before. It is start from chat. Then the Mahaprabhu. Mm. Unnat Raksha was there, but Unnat Ujjwal Rasa was not there. Unnat Ujjwal is a Manjari Bhav. So we will see Asthai Bhav, and we will see they have no Asthai Bhav, not, not like that. They have all Asthai Bhav. Nitya Siddhas there, but they are arranging different feeling bhava. Gopi bhava, Manjari bhava, Sakhi bhava, they, bhava, they are in this bhava. But Mahaprabhu give us one new feeling what he arranges himself. In the form of Krishna, how he become Radha Dasi. And then he, he, there is no difference between Bhav and Mahabhav. The, 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 Brajna Sundaris are also in Mahabhav. No? They what have Mahabhav. The, uh, Radha Rani has Mahabhav. But they are... Uh, they, no, 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 she is good. <laughs> They have a Mahabha, but the Radha Rani is Mahabha. Yes, this is... Yeah. This Mahabha. is the beauty. So, Gurudev, what you said, there is a connection shortly before the next statement comes from Chaitanya Charit Amrita. May my mind be immersed in the flood of bliss. Mm. that always increases the ocean of intoxication 
sweetness and causes great waves in that ocean. Whose cool adolescent dress is a collection of erotic ornaments and whose lovely moon-like face is beautified by a soft smile. How will the mind ever deviate after it was immersed in an ocean of rasa? Absorption in Swamini's maid service is even deeper. I am a maid servant of Shri whose form, qualities and sweetness defeat even Govindas. Sila. What can Maya do to me then? When by continuously performing bhajan, the mind becomes rasic, then the devotee becomes as attached and accustomed to his beloved deity as a conditioned soul is to his wife and children. You see? Graham Katha again start. <laughs> practical, practical. <laughs> this is Graham Katha. <laughs> what is not reality, we think that. And that way we start listening that there are difficulties and we we are, okay, again storage putting the storage in our mind this storage and then I have to work for that so rasa is not coming because two subjects are moving in the head over drunk or not one thing you take, take, take is the overdrug, full belly. My belly is totally empty because I want to do this also, I want to do this. Jack of all, master is none. Huh? The same in English, the phrase, Jack of all. I am Jack of all, but master is none. That's why the Goswami say, we want sasanga bhajan, worship yeah. with attachment. Yeah, attach. And that attach whose feelings are there, that association is good. If not, then you are in wrong association, your taste will be gone. Anasanga bhajan, worship without attachment will not, won't do. And Ananda Das Babaji is also saying like you about this topic. He is saying, it's my duty to chant the holy name a fixed numbers of times. That's why I do it. But I don't relish the sweetness of the name. Mahaprabhu. Then I cannot understand Guravani. If I only count the number of anything, then I will never get the, uh, uh, the, uh, enter the holy name really, because the holy name actually is, is meaning feelings and relationship. And this, this will never come by counting or by doing something no? that we also experience in this short time with Guru Dev that the holy name actually really is a, a deep meaning of feelings and relationship 
then Mahaprabhu uh, put his his full mercy in the Mahamantra, and uh, to to enter this this deep feelings, we have to meditate on uh, his motivation, why he came. And what was his own transformation in this, that he come as a, a Krishna and Rata and become actually Rata's Mahabhav. He entered in this mood and he also opened this feeling to us. Then there comes what you said, now there comes a feeling to the Mahamantra. And then is a real meaning of the holy names by feelings. Then there is Radhika and no more Krishna. Radhika is the Mahabhav in the Mahamantra. So the Sorry. same point Ananda Das Babaji wants to give us. What? And he is saying now, Mahaprabhu could not even pronounce the word Jagannath when wow. he was in ecstasy while dancing in the Ratayatra. Jaya Gaga Jaya Gaga Gat Gada Vachana. Chaitanya wow. Charit Amrita. Here is the quote. He was saying Jaga Gaga Jaga Gaga with faltering <laughs> voice. And then the Lord relished Pratipadam Punamritas Vadhanam, the full nectar at every step. And now comes a very nice quote. O oh my tongue, you suffering from thirst, please mix the delicious, fresh, enchanting nectar of the name Radha with the wonderfully sweet condensed milk of the name Krishna. Add the fragrant delightful ice of pure passionate love and drink this charming drink at every moment. The Acharyas teach us that we must relish each item of devotion in this way. All other desires, from sense gratification to liberation, are all cheating. So, you see, Ananda Das Babaji made the same point here. Oh, nice, we. Why, why they are chanting with the counting? I was also chanting with the counting. I say you the reality of this. I was chanting up to three lakhs. One lakh was the normal my chanting. Why? This keep you busy that I have to do one lakh. Mm. I need six hours for that. So six hours, I use my, my time in chanting. Although six hours is not using. It's, it's, it's going here, there, there, there. Sometime I use chanting, real chanting. But I'm keeping myself engaged in not to listen and chanting. That too, in beginning also, is good practice. 
but he no recommend this ma anandas baba ji that keeping only chanting counting chanting is not rising he is right there we are it fix in the engage in the counting myself that how much i chant and why not i chant that it should be with the feelings he recommend with the feelings not with the counting but if you want to engage yourself for that is the counting that you keep yourself engaged in that and it's not possible in western world to do mm-hmm. it can be possible in only in bengal Mm. No other way. We need a drop of mercy, Gurudev, to to relish this taste in the Mahamantra. Then the mind is fixed. Even a drop of Mahabhav will uh, fix our mind in Mahabhav. I can say you you can do. I want to give you one more garbage that buy the water, and you are not interested to buy it. Then I feel it. No one want to store more garbage to your mind, and you immediately. <laughs> oh, good. So it's useless. You you don't want to store the garbage. More and put your energy in that. This is beautiful. Yeah. The reality. I love you very much. Hmm. This is how I got this word. I will only buy this if I make you happy. Then I will do this. But not, uh, not. I see. I want to see your intention. Unless you involve yourself for doing anything, you are very intelligent. You don't involve yourself. You are very chatur, very. You know, at the high level of chatur, if you come close to Krishna, he make you very smart. You do not want to involve yourself and do the things maximum better. This is six sense of birth in our heart. Family life is not bad. Anything is not bad, but how much energy I give in that? That is the problem. How much I put my energy? Which place? Mm. Where is my focus? Where is my focus? I see loving Latika and his husband and uh, they are very clear, pure Vaishnava. Mm. The example in Krishna, always ready to serve and always in bhajan. Bajar, one is painting. What feeling is coming? She want to put it there, and always engage. So this is the point. Gorvani has also painting. He also put his energy there. 
When he cooks, stores nice prasadam. Well, it's, oh, it's the best. It's good. He has a rasta gurdiv in his okay. cooking. Yeah. And I said to I want that prasadam for you, so go to the place and visit and learn from him. How beautiful love wow. that he cooks. And these wow. take painting, how much he's serious to do that. Full devotion. And when he explains something, he's the worst Gauravani. He's the worst coming from Chaitanya. Mm. Wow. Gurudev, I'm getting red, you see, because it's not true. <laughs> no, you have a sunburn. I do. <laughs> but, but I take it as, as, as your goodwill and this uh, will move now. Oh, I can see from distance also. Guru Kripa, I can know everything. I can go oh. inside and see that. He's a Guru Kripa. Mm -hmm. Dear Guru Dev, Without your creeper, we are lost. Really, I feel that. This is the boss, brother, and you have done it much younger. He makes us relish, she makes us qualified to relish her love. But these are the Radhadas. By chanting the holy names in the mood, in this mood what Goravani just explained. So beautiful. Actually, I didn't explain anything. I <laughs> was just reading. <laughs> No, no, you, your feelings are also in this. If you read, you put your feelings in this. And we can feel your feelings also. Right, yes. good. If Sound no? vibration is, is coming into our hearts. Yes, 100%. Gurudev just said that the heart can only be cleaned by hearing. So I'm just listening. It said, Nitya Sita Krishna Prema. Gurudev is actually quoting this verse so often. Satya Kabunoi Shravanadi Sutachite Koroye Udoi. Love for Krishna is eternally perfect. It is not to be created. It is nothing to bother. Only Sutta and Shravanadi. Two things are there. Sravan and Sudhachit. And Sravan make us Sudhachit. Sravan, Sudhachitta, Sravanadi, Karai Uda. Sudhachitta and this thing. Chitta means mind and heart both. And you made this point just before, some minutes ago, that we have to hear and chant, because this is the only way to purify the heart. Cleaning, jeto darpanam marjanam, this is slow to perfect, this is the way. So we have received a lot of nectar from Gurudev's lips and Swamini 
has received the nectar of Krishna's lips. The Mahaprasad. And in Chaitanya At Chaitanya, Krishna is taking lips from some. So, so many prasad Krishna is accepting. That's the beauty of Chaitan. Krishna is taking from the lips of Swami. Prasad. Uh, that is Adharya. So Gaudiya Vaishnava is not offering first to Krishna than Swami. They also offer to Radhika than Krishna, who has a understanding of Chaitanya. This is the beauty of understanding and realization of Chaitanya. So how Swamini is enjoying that pan, the rest, that Maha, is actually best described, and now comes the quote, in Chaitanya Charit Amrita Anjalila 16, 132. Krishna ye koi tambula, kohe tara nahi mula. Tahe ara dhamba paripati, tara yeva udgara, tare koi amrita sara, kopira muka kore alabati. I cannot describe the value of the better leaves that were jewed by Krishna. They are also most proud of being called the essence of nectar and being able to use the gopi's mouth as spit tunes. So this pan is the greatest elixir. When Swamini smells it, she becomes overwhelmed. It is as if Shyam Sundara has appeared in person. Looking at Swamini, it seems as if she sits there with someone else, hugged against somebody, Krishna. How sweet, how beautiful, how splendid. It is the bhava service of bhava mai by the bhava kinkari in the kingdom of bhava. Gulavani, I was just thinking because Guru for sharing how much important is this listen, listening, and then it will become smaran during the day. So I thought Swamini is also the best example for this. He is the whole day when she is not together with Mohan, she is in smaran. And she will only, you know, let the kinkaris always remind her of her last meetings and different, different feelings they will give to her. She's always in that practice also, Gurudev. So that is also why it is our practice to keep the mind and the heart absorbed in Swamini's service and in my identity as a Dasi or as a Guru Manjari Dasi and always meditate on how I can focus all you know, hours of the day in the most intense 
contemplation of this. And then I will be together with those who help me to remember this and to have also the same feelings and to come in the mood, or I will help others to also remember this. So this is what Swamini does. I, I say, also... I was thinking first to forget Krishna, only meditate in Swamini. But I see that if you love Krishna, you have to do what he do. He becomes Radha Das. He becomes a student mm -hmm. of Radhika. Mm -hmm. He is taking the rem remnants of Radhika. What is Chaitanya wow. Chaitanya? Read again. Read again the sloka. Read. Which sloka? How you read? Krishna Yekai Tambula. No, no, no. Kohetara Nahimula. That is the. That um, again, repeat. There is some one more word. Kahe ara dhampa paripati. From beginning. Krishna Prema, the one that before the quote. It's always. What you quote something. You quote something. Quote a sloka. Nitya Sita Krishna Prema? Ah, Nitya Krishna, Nitya Sita Krishna Prema, Satya Kabunoi. Suddha Chita, that is okay. But after that, when you read the sloka, Chaitanya Chaitamrit, you start with some diff, uh, word that was very difficult to understand. This was the meaning of that word. The last quote was Krishna ye koi tambula kohe tara hi mula tahe ara dhamba paripati tara yeva udgara tari koi amrita sara gopira mukha kore alabati. And uh, before some slok is there. Before this is slokes, any other slope before slope read. Sutajita hi valihata. This is from Govinda Lalyamrita was another slope. No, no, they're not about it. Something. It's very difficult to understand who who is taking a remnants of who. Oh, that's how the movie is. That's the, that's the, that's the. Ah. Swamini was actually taking the remnants of Krishna's lips. But this was not a slogan, it's just in the... Uh, Ananda Das Babaji is just writing it here. Yeah, looking at Swamini, it seems as if she sits there. And it was just said, uh, if we want to understand how Swamini is actually tasting that that remnants, that pan, then the best is by understanding what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying. And then comes this quote, Krishna ye kai tambula kohe tara nahi mula tahe ara dhampa paripati. So other, other is a dhampa and a paripati. Dhamba means uh, uh, my ego. 
and paripati means the system we follow. Reality is that this is the system. Dhamma and paripati means the uh, I make some routine and we do that. This is paripati system management. And Dhamma means my ego. This is deep to understand. These are the exchange of love to the mutual evidence of each other. Mm -hmm. I also think about his remnants, Gurudev. Is it open? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. If we are just this beta leaf, what is the meaning of that what Krishna is giving to her? She put, mm. he put her special desires in that betel, and then he put it in her mouth so that she can exactly understand what is Krishna's desire to me. So, yeah. I always feel there is a big meaning when they they use some something between each other. Then they give some information hidingly. Yeah. So that the rasa will come, no? Yeah. <laughs> Betel leaf, we can meditate on this also. So nice, no? Yeah. To relish this. Hey, Uttam! 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 You are in verse 53, na? Kovani? 53, na? That comes now. Yes. Janga Soda Baloya Java Paryanka. Yes. So we were just by the Pan, the Maha, and now we are going we are staying by Maha, but another Maha, actually. So in the, first we get the theme from Radharasa Sudhanidhi, it's a quote, May my tank you become overwhelmed by relishing the nectarine flavor of Radha's holy name. May my feet walk over Vrindavan's pathways that are marked with her footprints. May my hands be engaged only in her menial service. May my heart meditate on her lotus feet and may I develop love for the Lord of her life through her festival of emotions. The Acharyas have expertly shown in their books how to surrender to Sri Radharani's lotus feet. It will be, uh, it will all be experienced by the grace of Rupa and Raghunadas Goswami. Swamini is sitting on her Ratna Payanka, the jeweled throne. How should we think of Sri Radhika's throne? Now comes the statement. Nijanka Sorabhalo Yegharva Payanka 
Tate Bhusi Ache Sada Chinte Krishna Sangha. Chaitanya Charamrita Matya Lila 8, 175. Sri Radhika's bed of bright stands in the abode of her nice bodily fragrance. She sits on that bed always thinking of Krishna's company. The birthplace of that bride is the feeling of mindness that causes her to think Krishna is mine. The devotees should relish that sweetness in their meditations. When the sadhaka wants to make his life blessed by performing smarana, so naturally that it resembled, uh, naturally it resembles a stream of water, he should certainly study and discuss the stavamala, stavavali compilations, then he will taste rasa, experience all these heart's services. The mind cannot be absorbed in Swamini's lotus feet by force. Without always perceiving the Sita Swarup, this cannot be understood. Nor can one think of Radharani's devotional service as long as one identifies with one's male or female material body. One should stay immersed in identification with the Sri Guru given Manjari Swarup. So here it's very clear. Actually, sometimes we get the question, where is this written with this Manjari bath and this Manjari Seva and all this, isn't it? So Chaitanya Charitamrita is used here as quotes to actually underline that. So it's all there. Oh, Rani, I think that also I want to just uh, yeah, support what you say with also another feeling that came to me that when the heart is ready for receiving the mercy of Swamini's service then we will feel it is everywhere. But in the beginning we we cannot feel it because we have no rasika association we have not the you know met the maid servants of of shrimati radhika and then we see everything as krishna or goranga as krishna but when this you know when the mercy comes when we have nityananda's mercy as you know ananga manjari then this kind of kata and this kind of feelings will come. And then, like Gurudev always says, we can feel it and see it everywhere. So this is not a matter of the, you know, where is it written? Although sometimes the people want to know and they get also curious. But the matter is what kind of association do I have? And what kind of... Um, goal am i you know am i a, a krishna bhakta and then if i am lucky by because by krishna's mercy i meet the radha dasis because krishna will send me to shrimati radhika's service when the time is right 
and then when that time comes and that feeling in the heart is so strong and then we listen and we listen like we said then that mercy from this listening and from our good association and and mercy from our gurudev when he feels this eagerness then this will reveal more and more but it is there all the time but before we cannot feel it no we all have this experience right but i i have this experience and it reveals uh, as much as i i i am eager to to use my mind like would have explained in this you know in the right direction in the right feelings and keep it uh you know the mind keep it a temple for my swamini and keep the dust out as much as possible yes so sweet my sister always very sweet your comments i find it so interesting that the mind cannot be absorbed in swamini's lotus feet by force anandadas babaji is writing this so you cannot push the mind into it it has to be attracted it's the other way like i know one person after he met gurudev he was also in uh, other mats before more interested in krishna he said you know the difference between gurudev and this uh, krishna gurus is the krishna gurus they want to press you into somewhat but gurudev is actually pulling <laughs> expert pulling like this here's the taste come here's the taste like that i never forget this when this person said it uh, said it like that <laughs> i'm thinking yes that's the difference one is pushing and the other one is pulling so radharani actually wants to pull us and how it's possible it's also written without always perceiving the siddha swarup this cannot be understood nor can one think of radharani's devotional service as long as one identifies with one's male or female material body so not in the sadak it's so clear so later on on another page here from the same verse there is another quote So let's see what is the theme here. It's about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Of course, in comparison with Swamini. So it begins her bodily complexion is like Gorochan pigment. She is a little older in age and has a very harsh loving nature. Ah, it's about Lalita here. Yeah. She orders different people around while Tulasi brings the Arati paraphernalia. Swamini sits down like a steady lightning strike. That's why she is dressed in the verse as Devi. Devi Kohe Jyotamana Parama Sundari. This is the quote from Chaitanya Charitamrita. 
Devi Kohe Jyotamana Parama Sundari. She is sitting there like a lightning strike. Devi means effulgent and most beautiful. A wonderful golden light emanates from her body. She feels that charm is close to her. He plays in her heart. In Bhavala's times of meeting, she is Krita Vasati Nagari. This is another quote of Chaitanya Charitamrita. Krita Vasati Nagari, living in the town of play. How many past sports Swamini remembers during the Arati, like pictures arising in her mind. So the whole theme is about the arati. Lalita is making the arati. Actually what we sing in the evening or what we usually were singing in the evening. Kibajayo. This song. is actually describing also and here we get some connection so Swamini is sitting there like a lightning strike it is said she is effulgent and most beautiful and her effulgence is like a lightning strike in a dark monsoon cloud. And she is living in the town of play. How many past sports Swamini remembers during the Arati? Like pictures arising in her mind. So Gurudev, can we say that this Arati is actually made to remind Swamini? This Arati is always jewel art. So she remember her sportsman, the Krishna. Her meditation was only Krishna, no other. And the arti of her happening, that Krishna goes someplace, he come back that time. He go with cow, he goes any place, but he has to come back to the Arthita. So she is the queen of Vrindavan. In Chaitanya, she is the Radhika. Krishna become Radhika. 
he became a student of Radhika. He took the mood of Radhika. This is Krishna do that. So Krishna become Radhika, then where Krishna he will get. So Radha has to be a Krishna. So Mahatma Rai Ramanan say, Kya I am Ram, uh, uh, sometime you become Raman and Ramani both. In Chaitanya Chaitanya Then Mahaprabhu closed the mouth, don't say more than that. And this realization come on the when we become Radha Das. Krishna Bhakta cannot realize these things because he is godly conscious person. Anything you try to explain to the mind. He's not a god. So in this connection, he is also said the boat of Swamin. Huh? Uh, yeah. Sorry? Yeah, right, you are. The The boat of Swamini's mind sinks in the river of remembrance of Krishna. And that can be seen by the soft, sweet smile on her lotus-like face. And she laughs. How does she laugh? The Bhagavad says, He laughs, cries, sings and dances like mad, ignoring the people. That is the condition of someone who has prema. What then to say of the condition of, Mava, of Maha Bhava Mai Radha? So this is drawing a very nice picture when this Arati ceremony is done, how Swamini sits there. Most effulgent and most beautiful, like a golden lightning strike. And her mind sinks in the river and she laughs and she goes completely mad. After reading that, now I want to do this Arati song. <laughs> That's another taste now. <laughs> Swamini is sitting there like a lightning strike. Wow. How was the swim? Swim 
अरे पानी लगेगा तो वैसे भी खराब होगा ये ऊपर रखा रखा खराब हुआ है अगर ऊपर नहीं रहता तो ये काम आ जाता ऊपर दीवार कतरा का यहाँ से वहां तक भरा हुआ है ये खाली लकड़ी भरा हुआ है ऊपर से काम करें इसलिए निकाले इसको देख लिए इसको बलामा को खुद दिखा दिए और लोगों को दिखा दिए एक सौ रुपया हुआ कर दे दिए तिरसठ सौ रुपया का हिसाब हुआ अभी तक कल फिर आएगा वो और दूसरा सामान लेने प्लास्टिक का बोतल वो कर ले जाए चौसठ सौ एक सौ वापस होंगे चौसठ सामान ये टोटल चौसठ सौ है तिरसठ सौ का हिसाब हुआ उसका आपको चौसठ दिए सौ रुपया छह हजार तीन सौ रुपया सो राधे राधे वी ऑलमोस्ट रन आउट ऑफ टाइम सो द नेक्स्ट क्वोट आई फाउंड एक्चुअली इज in verse number 59 or did anyone find another quote before i could not so a few verses without quotes of chaitanya charitamrita unusual but there so verse number 59 is about the great ecstasy swamini has when she goes out to make krishna happy with her service the nature of prema is that it just wants to make krishna happy Sri Jeeva Goswami has described three grounds to prema. First, the soul of priti is the desire to make Krishna happy or to be favorable to his happiness. Second, the arising of different desires in the lover for the sake of Krishna's happiness. third when krishna is happy the lover is happy so the first of this constitutional hallmark swarup lakshana of prema and the other two are the marginal hallmarks the tatashta lakshana the extraordinary constitutional position of prema is the exclusive aim to make its object happy so the desire in the heart of the loving devotee to make krishna happy with different devotional services that please him and that help the devotee to attain him the awareness that krishna is happy gives the devotee's boundless bliss although he does not have his desires for personal happiness fulfilled so now the connection with the quote from chaitanya charitamrita comes priti vishaya nande tat ashraya nanda the happiness of the abode of love is the happiness of the object of that love This is not a relationship of desire for personal happiness. It is one of causeless love. 
The reservoir of love becomes happy when the object of love is happy. Chaitanya Charit Amita Adilila 4, 199-200 Swaminiji makes blissful Krishna experience even more bliss. There are only a few people who want to make him happy. Outside of Braj, everyone seeks personal happiness. All the endeavors of the Braja Sundaris are meant to make Krishna happy. Though, and the greatest of them is Srimati Ratnarani. And Sri Krishna himself says, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Ama hoite anandita hoi tribhuvana, Ama ke anande dipe oiche konjana, Ama hoite yara hoi shatta shatta guna, Sejana aladite pare moramana, Ama hoite guni bodo chagate asambhava, Ekalirathate. Taha Kori Anubhava Chaitanya Charit Amrita All the three worlds are delighted by me, but is there any person who can delight me? Only a person who is a hundred times more qualified than me can delight my mind. It is impossible for anyone in this world to be more qualified than me. I only experience that in Radha. So what a wonderful quotation to end the reading here. Of course, if you want to make some comments, you're welcome. But we can end here and start next time also again on this same verse and go on then, because time is almost over. So if you want to share something, please, you're welcome. Otherwise, we will stop here then.